Let's fuck this pony. I guess we're bringing that back. Oh, we're bringing that back? Bring Why are back. we bringing that back? Fuck that pony. Pony fucking. <laughs> Why Why are we bringing pony fucking back? I don't know. Okay. Hello and welcome to the Milkman and Reverend Show. I'm Milkman. I'm Reverend. And it's been almost two months since the poop sweats. Uh, oh, that title! A lot of things have gone on since then, and you know, life and uh, movie premieres, COVID. Yeah, a lot of a lot of things yeah, going on with people. Yeah. So finally, found some time to read some books and then connect well, with Rev here to do an episode for you guys because I know all you people out there love these crazy ass episodes. So we are back yet again. What did you read? Oh, we're going to get right to to the readings? No, fuck that. No, let's not. How was your movie premiere? <laughs> oh, we're going to talk about that. Why the, not? The premiere was fun, so I don't know if I've mentioned it much on this podcast, but um, <clears throat> Monty, a friend of ours, uh, and I were filmmakers. We made a movie together called The Exploding Boy. It's our first feature-length, like full-length film, clocking in at 82 minutes. And uh, nice. we had a premiere at Kiggins Theater, historic Kiggins Theater in Vancouver, Washington. And uh, it's a big theater. It holds like 330 people. But we had about 120 people show up. So it was very awesome. We were very excited. That's cool. So many people showed up and supported our film. And everyone really seemed to like it. And uh, it was very exciting and fun. Um, sorry you couldn't make it, Rev. But, I know. I'm sorry, too. But uh, it's it was, a, it was a cool experience. And then uh, the following Saturday, we had our first film festival in Portland, and uh, we won Best Picture and Best Actor. So, really? Yeah. So it's been pretty. Who won? Who won the Best Actor? Uh, Paris. He's a. Uh, he's our lead actor. Oh, cool. In the film, so. Um, Paris Bates. Um, anyway, yeah. So it's been very positive that. Um, it's been very excited and, uh, yeah. So hopefully we're going to, we're, we're, we've submitted to like 30 more film festivals. So hopefully, uh, we'll hear back from them soon. But, uh, until then that was that. Are you, are you guys trying to get into the Portland film festival? It is submitted. So we'll oh, see. Cool. Yeah. So. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Good for you guys. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, uh, and then poor Matt had or poor Rev here had the uh, the COVIDs. How was that? Did you enjoy that? Uh, no, I did not <laughs> enjoy that. That was horrible. I would never wish that on anybody. I find... think I had probably a mild case. Did you find out who gave it to you? No, no, nobody found out who gave it to me. No one else from work. Nope, nobody from work. Nobody on the bus. Nobody anywhere. No. Well, I'm sorry, dude. How how yeah. long were you out? I was out of work for seven days. I had the virus for a total of eight. Yeah, good times. No, not really. Fucking hated it. Yeah, I was out for two weeks. <clears throat> for, yeah, it was pretty bad. Oh, God, it sucks. And the cough just stays with you. It doesn't go away. Oh, yeah, it sucks. It's good times. <clears throat> so great. Anyway, uh, I don't know. I guess we can get into comic book reading. I have been... So I've been debating. So buying less comics then some new stuff starts like new ideas start coming out that i look interested in and then i like oh i'll check those out so like i'm trying to buy less but then i find that i keep buying more (laughs) i'm trying to not buy more um but anyway i did read a few things i wanted to read more but i just today we're just have another collection of ian's number ones here so uh my first one that i read that uh, came out a little while back. Some of these are old, not that old, but kind of old. Um, I read the uh, the new uh, Spawn Batman book. New Spawn Batman? Yeah, I thought it was old. a re. I thought it was a reprint. No, it's new. Oh. <laughs> Do they remember each other? No. Oh. Um. Uh. It. The art's great. <laughs> The story is so like, huh? What? I don't know. It, it, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, forgettable. I don't know why they. I mean, the best part here is probably this Jim Lee cover. 
with Spawn and Batman. That's probably the best part that of the book. That is a great cover. Wow. Um, yeah, the book was just kind of like forgettable, the story. Lackluster? It's like kind of like a multiverse. They they treat it more... I don't know how they treat it. I forget. I have the original. I should have reread it. Um, but they treat this one like a multiverse thing. It's really weird. Like huh. It's, yeah, it's very bizarre. And uh, I, I don't know. It's interesting, too, because um, it is, uh, the actual art is uh, Greg Capula, you know, who, who's who been doing Batman. But he, you know, he was originally, Tom McFarlane and Greg Capula did, you know, Spawn together after Todd stopped drawing Spawn. So it's kind of a yeah. re-teaming of those two guys. So, like, but, yeah, the story is just not quite there. It's just kind of weird. But, uh, so I would not recommend that one unless you're like a diehard Batman or Spawn fan who needs to collect everything. Nope. I'm good. Thank you. Why is your camera off? Are you jerking off now or something? My camera's not off. It's on. It's, oh, there it is. Now it's on. It took it a minute. Huh. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, who knows? <laughs> what? Who knows what just happened? I don't. Hmm. My next number one, uh, this is an image book. Actually, my next two, actually, I guess they're all technically all image. It's image DC, and then I read a lot of image, I guess. Uh, Barbarians. Um, I, this art on the cover is super cool. The art inside is a little more comic booky. y um, I do like it, but the story hasn't really taken off yet, so I don't really know. It's just like kind of getting the band together type of thing, so I'm hoping... It moves forward faster, but I do yeah. like it. Um, I think it's only a mini series, though, so I hope it gets going quickly. The one I really like, and I just got today, actually, and my shipment just came today. Oh, nice! Um, image: The Forged by Greg Rucka and all these other guys. Oh, and it's an cool. o- oversized book, which I also dig, though I don't know where I'm going to store it. But it's sci-fi mech, which is space, Star Wars type thing. Um, Very cool. I love the art. And I'm looking forward to where this goes. So those are the books. I I was going to start reading, like, just read Wolverine. I was finally going to, like, just sit down. And maybe I'll do that over spring break because I'm on spring break right now. So maybe I will just sit down and finally just a big chunk. But I didn't get to it. Because I'm lazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what have you been reading, Rev? Uh, just my normal shipment stuff. Plus that. Nothing new. Oh. Oh, the mini comics collection. Yeah. This is like it's from all the figures? From all the action figures, yeah. How far it's are you into that? One of the, not very. <laughs> <laughs> like the first 10 or 15 pages. I've seen that before. I've looked. I've I've paged through it. I've never. And I, you know, is it well, any I have good? That. Is it any good? Oh, well, it's just the the comics that came with the figures. So it's you know it is what it is. Were those all Marvel comics? Who uh, did those? You know, I don't know who did these. A, a comic book geek would Ma- know. They were used by Mattel. Oh, Mattel. So. But- um, but they were licensed. This was licensed under uh, Dark Horse. Hmm. Hmm. So they did. The but I don't. Ones. So you don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know who did the the originals. And then I have. We had a little bit of this. What is that? This is the toys of the masters of the universe. All of them. It tells you every action figure for the Masters of the Universe. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Were you just going to He-Man Cake the last week or something? I I was, yeah, a little bit. (laughs) Where'd you get those at, or did you order them? Ordered them on Amazon. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Been reading that and my normal shipment stuff, like X-Men, Avengers, Spider-Man, all the DC stuff that's coming out right now. So what's good? good. So what's good? Though what with, is, with what DC, is, any of uh, it. What's, what's the best thing you're reading right now? I think the X Men's titles are pretty good. 
Still? That's because they... Uh, what's that? Still? Yeah. I think so. What are they? What's going on in them right now? Sinister has found a way to take over the X-Men, all of them, and make them part of him. And it's called The Sins of Sinister Storyline. It's leading up to the Fall of X story. It's yeah, going to happen later this year. Yeah, I saw the I saw the tease of that <clears throat> on the internets. Yeah. So they're all going to die again? Who knows? Who knows what's <laughs> going to happen? All the X-Men are going to die? Yeah, well, maybe. No more mutants? No. Wow. <laughs> no, because they're not going to do that. Because Marvel owns the rights to... Or Disney Marvel owns the rights to the X-Men again. So... They're not going to get rid of the X-Men and whittle them down to nothing. Okay, here you go. I got the answer for you. The first 11 mini comics that, produ- that produced were made by DC Comics. Oh. And then... And they were drawn by Mark Texiero and Bruce Tim. It might be in there. Anyway. Anyway, that's what that's what the internet says. Could be wrong, but the first eleven, huh? Supposedly, it doesn't say. Anywho, um, and I also saw that like Spider Man's there's like a new villain, not a new villain, there's a new Venom thing going on, or coming. Uh, the Venom verse. Uh, yeah, is that what it's called? Yes. Edge of the Veniverse, yeah, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. A cult of Carnage. Oh, that. I'm not interested. Carnage is way too overdone right now. Too overdone. I'm tired of Carnage. Tired of it. So you don't read that? No, nope, Do you read, do you read Venom? I do read Venom, yeah. Hmm. They just, they've made Carnage too fucking powerful, too. It's just, it's now he can't die. But it's not Salidas Cassidy anymore because Cassidy is dead. So it's a symbiote that has all Cassidy's memories. It's really kind of dumb. Jeez. Hater. Just a hater. <laughs> not a hater. <laughs> That's funny. I did see, uh, I was going through previews today and they solicited. So Battle Chasers is a new story is coming. So I'm very excited for that. And yeah. it's, it's not like a start over. They're actually like, it's Battle Chasers number 10. And it's just like, oh, that's awesome. So they're actually going to continue. It's not like going to start over and like, you know, I don't know. I just thought I was like, I was like paging through the solicitations and I was just like, oh my God, that's cool. Because I'm a big Battle Chasers fan. It's yeah. going to have like a million covers. It's great. Classic image. Cheesecake. Of course. 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> it's crazy, too, because, like, so Joe Mad is only writing. He's doing the story in writing, and he's doing uh-huh. a cover. But the guy who's doing the art, like, draws just like him. Is like, wow. It's pretty gnarly. Really? Yeah. Huh. Maybe maybe Mad trained him. Probably. It's probably one of his, like, fellow uh, art designers, because Joe Mad generally, I mean, he's more into video games these days. Uh-huh. And so a lot of those artists, it was probably one of the artists from there that have been nah. working with him. Because, like, all the video games that he does, it all has very similar art to, like, Battle Chasers, all the Darksiders stuff, all the, yeah. So, anyway, I, th- I was very excited for that as a kid, as, well, a, good. As, a, as a reader of those books back in the day. In fact, I have, yeah, I have all those, all the, I mean, it, it's such a crazy time now, like, uh, Back then, just the amount of variant covers I used to buy versus now I'll just buy the one I like the most. Uh-huh. But back then I used to buy every cover. <laughs> I would say that the I probably have a long box of just variant covers, really. I could probably pull all the variants out of my comic collection and just have a complete long box of all variant covers. That's insane. That's like That was like me with when um, they were doing all the Transformer variant covers. I bought all those. I probably have a small box full of Transformer <laughs> variant covers. Chromium and <clears throat> and uh, all the fucking different cardstock and yes, just oh my god, so good. Hollow foil, yeah. foil. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all that. <laughs> Nude. 
Good old nude covers. Yeah, baby. Like the nude Teen Titans? Hmm. I don't have that, but yes. The nude Was that an actual book? Or was Aaron just crazy high when he was talking about that? No, there is a nude... Uh... I don't know if it's actually real, but I did I find it. Real. I found an image of it on the internet, so it's in the it's in the opening of our show. Of yeah, the I know that. Show. I don't. I think it might be fake. I just happened to type it in, but it might not be. I don't know. I, okay. I don't. I don't think it exists. I think it was just a fake. A spoof. But you never know. Yeah, that's true. That's coming. That, I mean, that, has a, that has a new book. Are you going to get that? The new. Who? There's a new T Titan. There's a new Teen Titans book coming. Are you going to get that? Yeah. Yes, I am. It's they're now the DC's premier superhero team because the Justice League broke up. Oh yeah, for how yeah. long? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, but so, it was Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman's idea to do that. Let's just take a breather. Let's just uh, just like take a break. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is this like the hundredth time? Like how many? Like at a certain point, as a comic book reader, you got to be like, mm-hmm. yep. These heroes are failing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the best way to get sales up is to stop making this book. And then in a six months or so, relaunch it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and do away with the, the other heroes. Who all, were with an all new creative them. team that'll get you excited. But then it's not very good. Such a cynical look at comic books. <laughs> well, we are kind of cynical. We're old and crusty. Yep. 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 It's unfortunate. Anything so, else? I, anything not Marvel or DC that you're reading that you really enjoy? Or are you are you only Marvel and DC right now? Uh, well, I'm reading the Power Ranger books, but I'm so far behind on those, so don't even ask me what's happening. Oh, are those even any good? I like them, yeah. but I've always liked the Power Rangers show. Are you looking forward to the Netflix? Uh... Actually, I am. <laughs> of course you are. Of course I am. Go Power Rangers. That's cool. Um, yeah. You were going to say something, I think I interrupted you. I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, well, if there was something else you were reading, aside from Power Rangers. No. You only read Marvel and DC for the most part, then? For the most part, yeah. Is Transformers done? Oh, didn't someone buy Transformers? Isn't some Transformers movie? Nobody knows who has the rights to Transformers right, right now. Right now. Oh, okay. They're speculating that it's going to go back to... Um, Marvel. Oh, really? That they're going to continue with the Marvel storylines, which would be kind of cool. That would be cool. That's the stuff I have. Well, I have some of the, I have some of the IDW stuff. Is it IDW? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it was IDW. First, it was um, Dreamwave, but they went out of business. Yeah, I don't have Dreamwave. Wasn't Dreamwave under Image? No. 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 They were their own. I thought there was some they might have, stuff that was under image. Okay, they, anyway. They might have started out under image, but they 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 were on their own and they went out of business. And that's when IDW took over. Okay, yeah. So I do have some IDW stuff. But I like the Marvel stuff, the yeah. old Marvel stuff. Yeah, the old Marvel stuff was fun. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I heard like that they weren't, yeah, that, that, that it ended. IDW is like in a bad spot, man. They used to have like, Everything. Everything. And now they don't even have like a, like if you look at previews now, they got like a couple spots way in the back. <laughs> like, yeah. Like they don't have their own spot anymore. It's like, yeah. They don't have G.I. Yeah. Joe. They, all they have right now really is uh, uh, Turtles. Yeah, Turtles. And I heard Turtles is ending here soon too. Oh, really? Uh, that's, what I've, that's what I've heard. I've read. Yeah. Interesting. No, I haven't heard Whether that or not that's true, I don't know. I guess it depends on how successful this next Ronin series is. Yeah, that's true. When does it come out? Uh, I already got two issues. Oh, okay. And then... Is it is it good? I haven't started it yet. I was going to read the first issue and then I didn't get around to it. But I have uh, the first okay. two issues. I think <clears throat> the third one's ordered. And then I saw... They actually solicit both the fourth and the fifth this month. 
Really? Which I thought was interesting. So yeah. maybe they are not. Maybe, you know, IDW is coming to an end. I don't know. Uh, that would be sad. It's a hard, hard out there for a comic book publisher. <laughs> I don't know where they would go. I mean, who would, who would, who would, I mean, it'd probably be like, I mean, Ninja Turtles has never been on a, never been a mainstream comic Ninja. company. No. Would they go back to Image? Didn't Image, Image had him for a I, while? Image had him for like, yeah, that one run that I really like. I love that run. Which was also cool because IDW finished that run. <clears throat> no, they did. Yeah. So I bought those too. So I have that complete run now. Good. Um, but yeah. Yeah, they were at Image for the hot minute. Weren't they somewhere else? And then obviously they were at Mirage. Um, they were um, when the cartoon was out in the 90s. Oh, the Archie was, uh, shit. Uh, yeah, the Archie shit. Thank you. So wasn't it under DC? Wasn't Was Archie owned by DC then? I don't think Archie's under DC. I thought they were. Isn't Mad and Archie? Archie? No. Mad is. Mad is DC. Is Archie not? I thought Archie was like a Warner Brothers. Maybe it's its own thing, I guess. It must be. Maybe I don't know. Dumb. Maybe I'm dumb. I thought. <coughs> Archie Comics. Are they under DC? I'm looking. Nope, I guess not. I guess they're their own. For some reason, huh. I, for some reason I thought they were owned by something. But I guess Maybe not. because they're on the CW? Which used to be the WB? Perhaps. <clears throat> hmm. huh. So, you remember in, like, two years ago, DC threatened all of us with Bendis is coming. That was great, huh? Some of the best yeah. work he's ever done in DC. Yeah, he was there for, what, a minute? And then now, where the fuck is he? Uh, I was reading a whole bunch of posts on Twitter today about that, and they're like, it was a threat that he was coming to destroy shit, but the destroyer didn't really destroy anything. <laughs> I don't even think. I think he like maybe has an indie book. I don't know because he was the last thing he wrote like the Superman, like the big Superman pro- and like, Justice League. That's like the big biggest profile. Yeah, and Justice League. He ruined the Justice League. I mean, he was making it better. They just didn't let it. They probably was just creative differences. They just just DC is just you know. He was making it better. I mean, when was the last time the Justice League was actually any good? Uh, never. See, it's never been a great book anymore. But the but how but how long back? I mean, Morrison. Morrison. Morrison's be- before. Yeah, okay, so that's before the other. When, when, is, <coughs> when is that Michael Turner stuff? Uh, Who wrote that? That was. I think that was all around the same time. No, Morrison was before that, wasn't he? I don't know. It's when the Justice League was really good, though, when they introduced Prometheus and the Tower of Babel and all that. That's a long fucking time ago. I mean, the Avengers have been has been a better steady superhero group than the Justice true. League has. That is true. They have been. And Bendis was a part <clears throat> of that. I'm sorry. I never read it. So I reassembled. Know. Secret Secret War. Did he write that? Was, did he? No, I don't think he wrote Secret Wars. Who wrote that? Maybe that was him. I know. Didn't he write? He wrote Secret Invasion. Yeah, he definitely wrote Secret Invasion. Because the the Avengers know. break up, and then he does the re the the, the, <laughs> the dis, what is it called? The Disassemble Avengers. all the new assemble all the new Avengers shit. With Daredevil yeah. and Wolverine, all that shit's him. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. That's great Avenger shit. And then yeah, Secret Invasions in is tied to that. But isn't that isn't the prior to the when the Avengers broke up? Is it Secret War or Secret whatever the one? It's all like painted by Gabriel. What is that? Is that it's Secret War? Is it Secret War? Yeah, I have it. Did it's he write that? I don't remember if he up. wrote that or not. I don't think he wrote that. I don't think that was a Bendis book. Wow, we are sucky comic book nerds. Or so long mm-hmm. ago. Yeah, that, there you go. It was so long ago that we don't remember. 
Because I don't think he wrote it. Pretty sure. That's Secret Wars. That's the ancient one. Secret Wars. Well, there's also the new Secret Wars. Marvel just keeps rehashing the same title over and over. No, yeah, it was Brian Michael Bendis. Ah, second, two thousand four. <laughs> yeah, he was in control of. I mean, Bendis was in control of everything back then. Yeah, he did. He, he came off his massive, you know, his Ben, his uh, Daredevil shit, and he was like, "Oh my yeah. god, look at this guy." This and guy. Ultimate Spider-Man. And that too, which he wrote for fucking ever. <clears throat> Holy shit. Yeah, he did write that for a long time. It's 150 funny. episode issues or something. It's crazy too how long that. Like it pretty much went, once he left, then I mean the other all the ulti, other ultimate books kind of came and went, and then that just kind of that whole imprint just kind of died with him. Like oh, that's yeah. the end of the Ultimates. Though I did see that the Ultimate are back. Yeah, the Ultimates are the Ultimate Universe is coming back. Ultimate Invasion. Yep. And they got the old guys back on it, too. Brian Hitch is oh, back doing the art. Weird. wonder what Miles is doing in that. He's part of the normal universe now. You can still have an ultimate. You can still have an ultimate Spider-Man. You can't, because Miles is over in the 616 universe. Well, maybe he swung through again. I mean, he's in the multiverse. He is part of the Spider-Verse, so he can go anywhere he wants. Got to call him up on the old spider phone. Yeah. And he takes his little spider buggy. wonder if they're going to make that Captain America a dickhead <laughs> again, like he was. I don't understand why, like, Werewolf by Night, like, why is it not a multiverse where we bring in Wolf Cap? Like, That'd they're, be cool. They're missing out on all these kind of crazy things. <laughs> like, let's take full, <laughs> Let's take full advantage of this. <laughs> Yeah, bring in Wolf Cap and, and you know, what, fuck. DC's doing that with um, the Captain Kangaroo or uh, Captain Carrot. There is a kangaroo, though. Captain Carrot? Yeah. I don't, think I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever read any Captain Carrot. You know who Captain Carrot is. Though, I don't right? think so. Look him up. You got oh, a computer right oh there? Oh, my God. All right, Captain Carrot. He's basically that ver- world's version of Superman. Oh, is a rabbit? Yeah. I was. What else would he be? Well, there's that deep. There's that dark horse book where it was a flaming carrot. But this is not dark horse. No, I'm just saying. I was like, I get that. You know, ca- anything with carrot, you think it's an actual carrot? No. Yeah, flaming carrot. More that guy's an actual carrot guy. Captain Carrot is just a rabbit. All right. Well, Flaming Carrot is just a humanoid carrot. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. I know that one. Well, it's more like a human with a carrot head, really. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they, a, should, they, should, yeah. they should fight Captain Carrot and Flaming Carrot. That's the crossover. Has- That's the crossover <laughs> we need. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's happening. I, I don't think it's happened. Oh. One's, is it one image and one DC? No, Flaming Carrot was... Image? Uh, it's an independent book, and I think it's it was published by Aardvark Vanheim, then Renegade Press, then Dark Horse, then Image. Huh. <clears throat> no, he's bounced it's, around. I think, it's, I think it's completely independent at this moment. I think whoever gives him the best deal. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. It doesn't look like he's had a book published since 2006 so wow he's uh he's in limbo he's in limbo so dc snap him up make this crossover <laughs> happen <laughs> and don't put bendis on it hmm. or put bendis on it maybe it'll be good well maybe <laughs> who knows maybe he could not fuck it up any worse than he has everything else You give him so much shit. He's not that bad of a writer. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Okay. You and I are gonna have not to everything on that one. he's done hits, but there's a lot of shit he's done that's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> Some things he's done is good. How's that? I'll I'll give him that. Some things he's done is good. 
I mean, I think all that that early uh, New Avengers stuff is fucking awesome. But. Well, I'm not saying those weren't. Those were good. But I just... Did I you write know. Secret Invasion? I think he did. He's, he's you know, he created the, uh, <clears throat> the Illuminati. That's pretty dope. That's yes, a good book. That... Did he... He did Secret War too, but didn't he? That with Doom when Doom took over we just Secret Wars. About, we just no. talked about Secret War. That is the Doom book. I was not that's not the one I was talking about. The one I was talking about was with Wolverine, Captain America, Yeah, Spider Man. Quake, Spider Man. Yeah, and they yes. go to they go to Doom's place. That's no. Secret War. Okay, that's I'm t- okay, so that's what I was talking about. The other Secret War that they did with Doom. That is what where he re, where, the, where he redid the whole Marvel universe oh. with all the incursions. I don't know what that one is. Secret War Two. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, don't, I know. don't know. Who wrote <laughs> Secret Invasion? Art by Steve McNiven, of course. Because man, what happened to St- yeah? It was yes. Secret Invasion is definitely. Bendis. Yeah. Dude, what, happened? what happened to Steve McNiven? I think I used to be everywhere. Does he even draw anymore? I don't think I know who that is. He wrote like he did all the art for Civil War, and something. Yeah, he's done a lot of stuff. Huh. Civil War was a good book. Also, Bendis. I know. Is it Bendis? I or know. Miller? No, that might be Miller. Is that no, Miller? I think that was Miller. Oh my God! Why would we suck so bad? Because we, those are older books that we haven't read in a long time. Yeah, it's Mark Miller. That's what I thought. Also a good writer that, you know, I have issues with. But, hey, yes. that Wolverine run he did was super dope. Holy cow. Yes. No, Didn't he do the we're just um, Old Man Logan? Did we? Did he do the Old Man Logan? Who did yes, Old Man yeah, Logan? Yeah, Old Man Logan is, is Miller. Yes. Yeah, that's a great run. That is a great run right there. I still haven't finished the sequel. You haven't? Um, you I, haven't I, back there? I, I had the trade and I got like halfway through it and then I didn't, you know, I haven't uh, finished that. Or I don't huh. know if it's the proper sequel. It's the one where he's like in the normal time and then goes back. It's... Uh... No, because that's from the Battle World Secret Wars. It's not uh, Old Man Logan Logan. But it's well, what Old Man Logan is it then? Because he's definitely Old it's Man an, Logan. It is Old Man Logan, but it's not the one from that storyline. Oh, okay. It's weird. So it's, they didn't, it's, they didn't it's, touch that Logan. No, they touched another Logan that did something very similar. Always oh, touching so many Logans. Yes, I know. <laughs> Matt's jealous over here. <clears throat> Uh, no. So, no, um, I'm not do you have any other comic book stuff you want to talk about? Should we move on to some other genres? Let's move on to something else. What television are you watching? Are you are you watching the uh, the final f- season of Flash? Flashy Flash. I am watching the final season of Flash, and it's horrible. It's. <laughs> uh, I was thinking like I'd probably watch like the last two episodes of the entire thing. Like, uh uh-huh. Like has uh has Arrow grown- shown up yet? No. Yeah, so he's going to show up at, like, at the very end or some shit, I imagine. Yeah, he probably is. So I'm everybody gonna, else wants to show up. I'm just going to wait till the very end to watch those last two episodes. So what's what's bad about it? The storyline right now, they, they just can't seem to keep their their focus on anything. They're bouncing around all over the place. Like, the, it's only going to be, like, 14 episodes, and they're, like, seven in right now. And there's They had one bad guy, which was Red Death. From you know the the um, Dark Knight's metal story it had nothing to do with Red Death, which was weird. <laughs> and then and now they have no villain that they're fighting other than nobody. I mean, they're supposed to just be tying things up and like. Well, they're still they should still have a villain in there somewhere. I suppose you're right. Yeah, I don't know, man. weren't all? I, I don't mean, know weren't either. the previous like the last couple seasons been pretty bad anyway? They were pretty bad, yeah. But I haven't they, watched it in so long, so I don't know. I don't know. It's 
so it's it's not good, and I'm not enjoying it. I'm actually enjoying Superman and Lois better, more than that. And this is also their last season, though, right? Is it? Isn't it? I don't know. Oh. They they keep saying that that show has high has potential to keep going. Oh, does it? Oh. But I don't know. I know it's seen as popular by people. Yeah, I like it. It's really good. It's it's kind of a darker take on Superman, like, um, like we've not seen in a, a while, other than. Man of Steel. Dawn of Justice. Yes. <laughs> Batman v yes, Superman. Exactly. <laughs> that is a horrible movie. Martha! I almost watched uh, the Justice League Snyder Cut this weekend. Again? Or you've not seen it? Oh, I've seen it. Oh, I just okay. was going to watch it again just because it's it was far superior to the oh, yeah. Whedon Cut. Oh, yes. It's also like four times longer than the Whedon cut. Yes. Uh, did you see all that news about, you know, since this whole Snyder, he's doing like a charity <laughs> showing of all the movies. And really? Then he's going to show, he's gotten, he's got permission from Warner Brothers to show the Green Lantern footage that wasn't shown, like the Jon Stewart and uh, Kilowog stuff, or I don't know. There's a bunch of Green Lantern stuff that was never put in. It was never finished, I guess. Really? But he's been given permission to show that. Really? Yeah. It won't be huh. in the movie, but it'll be like either before or after the movie. So I'm That's not sure. I'm not sure when that screening happens, but it's supposed to happen pretty soon. Yeah, they're going to show all the cool. movies: Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and then the Snyder Cut. Yeah, like this big charity viewing. So fourteen hours of movies, <laughs> basically, for three movies. <laughs> basically. basically, but you know, there's all those Snyder <coughs> Snyder apologists, so I'm sure. Yeah, they'll you know, it's the last time we'll get to see the real DCU. <laughs> it's like, give me a break, dude. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I, I I figured you would have heard about that. Yeah, because yeah the. The Green Lantern stuff might be kind of cool to see. Yeah, I would be kind of excited to see that. I don't think I've seen any superhero stuff. I think the last thing I watched, we already talked about it, that awful Black Adam movie, so. Yeah. I don't think I've seen anything since then. I don't think I have either. I saw Ant-Man and Wasp. Oh, well, there you go. That's. Was that? A, I, I heard we're that was. Talking about that. I heard that was kind of a letdown. I liked it. You liked it, but was it good? It was moderate. Maya, yeah. what, 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 what film would be worse than it? Is it right above? What movie is it right above? Um, uh, I'd say it was better than Thor: Dark World. Okay, is it th- better than Thor: Love and Thunder? It's right there. They're they're kind of right on top of each other. Oh, see, I would say I like probably like Dark World more than Love and Thunder, <laughs> just because Love and Thunder is all over the place. Yeah, it is. At least Dark World has a consistent tone. Dark. <laughs> yeah, but that's I'm okay with that. <laughs> Kang was really good. That's right here. Yeah, he was great, but now he's a total. Maybe it'll never be in the Marvel Universe again. We'll see. Yeah. Well, no, they're going to... Supposedly, it's multiverse kings. No, I'm talking about Jonathan Majors. Oh, because of what happened? Yeah. Well, I heard that. That's not going to... I heard he's going to... I don't know. I heard you he didn't do anything. Be... Yeah, well, who knows? You know, James Gunn didn't really do anything, and Marvel fired him for a while. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen anything that would say his all all of Jonathan Major's attorneys his was saying that like he didn't do anything and this late this woman is just making shit up. Crazy. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. But I haven't seen anything. I, have no idea. I haven't seen anything from Marvel saying that <clears throat> they're gonna stop working with him. I mean, he just had he, he just had Creed come out and they're not. There's nothing in the news really saying anything bad about him. So I mean, I don't know yeah. that came out and this kind of been hushed. So who knows. Who knows? Yeah. Probably just, you know, I, hope, I hope it's all just, you know, fake rumors that will never go anywhere. Because he was great. Fucking phenomenal as gang. Sh- 
I mean, he's supposed to. Sh- I mean, he's supposed to be in the. He's definitely in the next Loki. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I can't imagine them getting rid of him. I don't think so. I hope unless, not. Unless he just has, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. I cannot speak onto the things that I do not know of. Exactly. But you do anyway, because that's the way you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I haven't seen. I haven't seen that. I don't really care. I don't know. I don't even even. I don't know. The Ant Man movies. I've just never been a super, fan of. Super hot on. So like the fact that they were like writing, putting so much on this movie seems just like so stupid. But uh, you know, whatever. I think they really need to like get their shit together, man. Like this Guardians of the Galaxy movie better be dope. Um, oh, it better be. What else do they have coming? Uh. Oh no! Yeah, I forget what's in their fucking lineup. They announced their lineup so long ago that I don't remember what. Oh, the Marvels! So the Marvels film. I I hope that works really well. I hope it does. Then we have the Secret Invasion TV show. I'm looking forward to that. Which is probably tied into the Marvels. Hmm. I don't think it is. I think it's tied into Spider Man because you know. No, Spider Man. Because Secret Invasion is dealing with the the scrolls, the scrolls, yes. and I think the I think the Marvels because it's the only, that's the only cosmic thing Marvel has right now is the scrolls. They have the Guardians. Yeah, the Guard, but they're not going to tie it in with the Guardians. That's I think I'm I'm pretty sure Secret. I think I think because I think because I'm pretty sure Sam Jackson is also in the Marvels movie. Is he? Yeah. So I think those are tied together. I'm pretty sure those are tied together. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, remember in Spider-Man when they told him that Fury's off-world and has been for a year? Kind of ties into that a little bit. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. So I think I think it's going to tie into pretty much everything, though. Oh, but there's another movie sooner, isn't there? I don't think there is. I think Guardians is the next one, and then Marvels. I don't think so. I think there's another one. I... Marvel. What is it? Phase five. Yes. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's just a bunch of television. Is that it? Uh, Secret Invasion, Guardians of the Galaxy, mm-hmm. Echo, Loki, Marvels, Blade, Ironheart, Agatha, Captain America. Blade. Probably. Blade's probably... Because I think Captain America is sooner than Blade. You think so? Daredevil, Thunderbolts. Yeah, I'm not sure when the whole Deadpool, when that's dropping. Uh, when that, that Where that exists. Is there a more updated... I don't know. But Deadpool 3 supposedly is going to deal with the TVA. Yeah, so I've heard too. I'm not sure if I'm super excited about that. Well, you don't want Owen Wilson in a Deadpool movie? Nah, I just don't like the whole idea that it's just all the... I mean, I guess I understand that the that this Wolverine <laughs> has to be a multiverse Wolverine, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I just look. A, I'm fucking tired of multiverse shit at this point. <laughs> so I don't know. So the idea, of them, know, I... the idea of them just jumping around the multiverse just does not sound exciting. No, they did that in Doctor Strange, and they, they did Doctor out. Strange. Obviously, they did it. Well, kind. Of, they don't really do it, but I guess I don't know. I haven't seen Ant Man, but obviously they're in. The quantum verse, which is quantum realm, is different than the multiverse. Though they mentioned the multiverse right. a few times, and we plus, get the Council of Kangs and all that shit. Plus, plus we have the new Spider Verse movie coming. Yes. Plus, we just had everything everywhere all at once, which is a multiverse movie but is separate, but it's just it's. I'm just like we got enough multiverse shit going on. I just don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> Yeah, but everything everywhere all at once was a good movie. It was a really good movie. It's all right, movie. 
Of course you would say that. It was this it was our gen is this generation's Big Trouble in Little China. But did Big Trouble in Little <laughs> Ch- did Big Trouble in Little China win a best picture? No. 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 Should have though. <laughs> it's remembered fondly. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so I don't have any movie yeah. or TV stuff to share because I haven't really watched any movies or TV. I just don't think there is any. Anything, There's yeah. really nothing coming out. I mean, nothing comic book related that I was. Yeah. No. What about video games, that. Matt? I started playing God of War, the the, the remake God of War, not the uh, no, Ragnarok, but the one before that. Oh, just the, the I'm sequel. Just the stuck, sequel. Yeah, I'm stuck fight the fighting the fucking Valkyrie. I cannot beat her. Oh. Cannot beat her. Oh yeah. So I gave up and I'm. I went to play <laughs> Spider Man again. Again. Yeah. Have you played Miles? I'm playing yeah. Oh, you played Miles. Okay. Yeah, I played Miles. I I've sure. beat them both. I hundred percented both of them. What about Gotham Knights? Have you beat Gotham Knights yet? No, I, I have one mission to be, to go before I meet beat the whole storyline. So I'm just saving it. Oh, I see. Oh, well, then you got to get in on that I, Avenger shit, bro. I will. I know. I know that they're no longer making any more patches for it or anything. It's dead. Yeah, they pulled out all the microtransactions, so it's just like it's pretty cool, but. The game is actually really the single player campaign is actually really good. I think it's pretty awesome. I don't know why. Is it like the so Guardians? Mm, kind of. I mean, it's not exactly <laughs> like that, but uh, you get to you play around. I mean, once you get through, I don't know where you are right now. Are you still on like a day where shit goes wrong? I'm still yeah. Oh, you got to get past that shit, dude. Because you. Uh, you're basically it's basically the tutorial level where you play like a single character. Uh, mm-hmm. When you get on, you get paired up with like another character, and then you get paired up with, like a whole group. It's pretty fun, and you get to choose just, who you want to play as. I keep every time I play, I keep dying. Where at? Uh, one of the very first missions. I don't remember. I haven't booted up the game in a long time. <laughs> That's sad. Sad. I know. I know. What's wrong with you? Get, I'm a horrible gamer. Get good. I can't. I'm a horrible gamer. Oh, well. Uh, it's kind of sad. I mean, it's, uh, you know, because we could group up together. I can't group up with you on the tutorial missions because there's no multiplayer there. But eventually you'll get to a point where then I can group up with you and we can, like, pound some shit. Yeah, let me let me re-download it or download it onto my, my PS and yeah, I'll do it next this weekend. Make sure you do the PS5 version, not the PS4 version. I will. I will. It's pretty dope. Anyway, yeah, so that game is a lot of fun. Um, so, and I've been playing that. <laughs> so, have I played anything? Yeah. Before? That's about it. Um, but yeah, unlocking all these weird, co- I mean, they just, it's funny because like when I was playing originally, I only had like one or two costumes unlocked and then I turned it on the other day and it's just like, there's like 30 costumes for each character. <laughs> just like, what the <laughs> fuck? It's pretty crazy. So they have Wolf Cap, and then they have like this weird version. There's like a Hawkeye version where he's like a hawk bird guy. It's pretty funny. It's like you can oh. have like all these weird, there's some crazy shit in there. It sounds like it. Um, Yeah. Anyway, super fun. Uh, I'll, down, uh, I'll put it on this weekend and then, or this upcoming weekend. And I'll try to get past the tutorial. I guess if you can't, I can try. I can try and share <laughs> share play it. I should be able to do it. Share you just gotta it. do it. For, just hold your hand through it all. Yeah, please. Oh, well, I'd rather <laughs> you. Never mind. Was that Clayface? No, it's Swamp Thing. Oh, Swamp Thing. Remember the old. Could have gone either way, though. Really, I mean, really yeah. could go either way. <laughs> Ninety-seven Skinner, Clayface. <laughs> There's all the rumors that Clayface was either supposed to be in the last Batman or is going to be in the new Batman. That's what I heard, too. But we'll see. It's an interesting choice. I don't see yeah. it being in the new Batman because that seems a little, like, crazy. A little too... Uh, Why? I don't know, because the new Batman films are so grounded. So I, I couldn't see it, actually, but uh, maybe. I think so. I think it'd be kind of neat to see 
Clayface in live action, how they do it. I mean, maybe in the Sam Gunn, Brave and the Bold Batman, but I just don't know about the you Else mean James Worlds, Gunn. Elseworlds Batman. <clears throat> yeah. That is, yeah, you got a point there. Like, here's this mysterious thing, this magical creature thing. <laughs> I mean, I know he's not, but I mean, it's just like a... I don't know. Here's this irradiated lump of clay. Go right. fight it. Right. But, I mean, if they could figure out a way to make it happen, I mean, I guess it could be cool. Yeah. Who knows? So, have you gotten any new toys? <clears throat> uh, yeah. Anything cool? Uh, that we can not... share? Oh, God. You didn't think about this part, did you? You never think about it. You never I never it. think about this part. I don't. I got that guy. That's the... Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Um, That's cool. Um, oh, God. Super 7 uh, Battle Android Trooper. Let's see. Uh, what else? No new Transformers. I did get something that you would like. Oh, is it in your bedroom? Is it black and yeah. long? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Alright. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Do you recognize him? Yeah, that's uh, Fast and Furious. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Dom and, Dom and Brian's vehicles, yeah. Are those actual Legos or that is a different brand? Yeah, that's actual Lego. Oh, that's cool. Lego licensed product. Nice. Look at that. Oh, there's the puppers. We got puppers. Bella. We got Bella. Just hiding <clears throat> in the bedroom. Of course. Always hiding in the bedroom. That's cool. Um, Where did you, are those new that, or those been out for a while? Those just came out last month. Oh, my God. Were they expensive? $22. Not that bad. For the pair or each? Each. One was, actually, one was 19, one is 22. Oh, I, was, I figured they like put them in, it'd be one of those Lego things where they put them in a bundle and you had to get them together or something. I would get them in the bundle if they did. Well, I know you would. I was just... <laughs> is that the only uh, cars from that, from Fast and the Furious, or do they have like any of the Tokyo Drift cars or anything? They don't have anything else yet. Just those? Yeah. Wow, I should look, I should look into finding that. Where did you just get out on Amazon, or did you go to... Have to I found a... them on Walmart. 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 Yeah. The store that everybody hates is actually doing pretty good when it comes to some toys. That's cool. Any other big purchases coming soon? Or no? No. No No big purchases coming. No. We can live life normally and not starve day to day. (laughs) No, I'm fine. Because you have like a $600 Transformer coming in the mail or something? (laughs) Uh, $400, and that's not for another couple of months. See? I told you. I knew we had something. Which one? That's not for like another year. Uh, Deathosaurus. Oh, what is Deathosaurus? Yep. I don't even know what Deathosaurus is. He's the villain to Star Saber. Death. Deathosaurus. Uh huh. <clears throat> He's a Japanese character. Okay, he's got like wings on his arms, kind of, and it. Yeah, he's kind of like a giant dragon. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Cool. And this is how yeah. big? How big? How big is this one going to be? Uh, twelve inches or so. Not not huge, but you know. But he's four hundred dollars. How many are they making? Just like they only. Well, it's a. It was a Kickstarter. Oh, okay. So it's very limited, though. Yeah, there's a lot of extra stuff coming with him too. Gotcha. Yeah. So when it's like a Kickstarter like this, is this actually a Kickstarter through Hasbro, or is this like just like an offshoot? It's through Hasbro. No, okay. So they're they're just making it for the fans. Like here, we'll make this, but it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. And you get a bunch of extras and stuff. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. They ever done one like that for like Grimlock? No, they have not done one like that for Grimlock. Well, let me know. Oh, of course, of course, I will. Why wouldn't I let you know? It's fucking Grimlock. I know you and Grimlock. Just let me know. I don't know. I just like it. You know, hey. It could be like, oh, they're doing this Kickstarter for Grimlock. Hmm. Ian probably would like that. Oh, oh well, I'll forget. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Um, 
I would I would tell you when you when it came to Grimlock. I always felt kind of like stupid that I never I don't ever <laughs> but I don't think they ever finished it. The other that other company that's not Hasbro, but like that did like the Dino the Dinobots, but they would form into the one robot. They were Volcanus. Like, they the 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 well I don't remember the company that made it. It was like a really expensive, and then they would be a combiner. I have no idea. No, it was like an but offshoot. Hasbro did make the Dinobot combiner, Volcanus. Well, this was, oh well, this was like a different. This was like crazy expensive. Uh, it was like a years ago, and there was like hmm. this weird company that did it. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway. Doesn't sound familiar to me. I'll try and find it someday. Anyway, someday. I just wanted—I just wanted the Grimlock because the Grimlock was super detailed, crazy, yeah, crazy detailed. But I don't think they ever finished it. You know, I—if I could find you the Studio Series Grimlock, I would be able—I would buy that for you. Oh, would you? That'd but I can't—you can't find him anymore. Of course not. Yeah, he's. <laughs> You know, they make them for a limited time and then they take them off the shelves or they never produce them or put them out again. Right. But the Studio Series Grimlock is probably the best Grimlock they have ever made. Cool. Yeah. I thought it was great. How much was it originally? 50. Oh, that's all? Yeah. You have one though, right? Of course I do. Of course you do. Yeah. I've probably seen it. Ah, What the fuck was that? Oh, you just. He's right back there. Yeah, 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 I've seen that one. Yeah, and then they make, they're making, they're going to make all uh, five of the original Dinobots in this scale. That's leader scale. Leader scale. Yeah. The next one they're doing is the Triceratops, or Stegosaurus, uh, Slug? Slag? Slag, yeah. Well, it's no longer Slag, because oh, that's something... offensive. Oh, is it? That's what they say. So his name is now Slug. To who? The uh, whichever one was named Slag. No, but who is it offensive to? I don't know what the. Who... I don't know. That's interesting. They just they said that uh, the name was offensive to people. Don't know who. So they changed it to from Slag to Slug. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I thought Slag Slug was the Triceratops. Maybe. I don't remember who they are. Could have called them Slog. Slog? <laughs> what a slog. <laughs> that's, that's bad. Yeah, I just have my OG, whatever one. What is his name? I'm looking. What's the other one's name, then? Um, hold on, I'm looking. Are you? Yes. Scourge? Not Scourge. It's, uh... Grimlock, Snarl, Slag, Swoop. Snarls. Has to be Snarl. Snarl's the Stegosaurus, yes. So he's the next one coming up. Then it's going to be Swoop. So who is the the Brontosaurus? You don't have it on there? Uh, I'm looking. I was hoping it would just show up here, but they don't have it. Sludge. Sludge. No, that makes sense. Yeah, it's Sludge. So the Dinobots are Sludge, Slug, Snarl, Swoop, and then Grimlock. Yeah, that's who they are. There you go. Yeah. I have Snarl. I have have OG Snarl. That's uh, the only... Oh, gee, Snarl, huh? Where's he at? How come you don't have him on display? Oh, you do. He's, he's a little wonky. This part's metal. 
Yeah, the body? Is, yeah, the body's... He looks a little dusty. Yeah, I haven't... And his arm comes off, because it's, it's, it's old. It's, it's, been, it's been through some shit. <laughs> he's seen some shit. <laughs> he, he doesn't like... He, it's also funny, too, because he's, cause he's metal... He's, like, top-heavy, so, like, when you stand, if you're not careful, he just falls backwards. <laughs> That's when they I, have made kinda, I have to kind of lean him against a wall. <laughs> yeah. He hangs out with the Grimlock You Got Me. Oh, the, the War for Cybertron one? Yep. Yeah, that's a good Grimlock, too. With the light-up mouth and shit. Yep. <clears throat> well, okay, toys. Uh, anything else? I don't know. No, no that's more it. Geeky shit. You have some music. You read some books. I don't know. You know what we should do? Uh oh. For the next one, is we should read the um, five, six, seven, and eight of Berserker. Oh, I just got number, I just it. got number twelve in the mail too. Yeah, well, my number twelve hasn't come yet. You know what's funny about? You know what's funny about that too? What's that? I bought the, uh, <laughs> I bought the hollow foil cover. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> That's pretty nice looking though. I like that cover. Yeah. I think it was like <laughs> a buck more. Like they're not very. Wow. Yeah. That's where we should reach before the next one though. All right. We can catch up, catch up on that. Yeah. I think we kept keep talking about. I mean, we were. I think we were talking about reading something else too. But yeah, I think we have talked about the Berserker thing. We should just finish. Yeah, we should catch up. We should read the the next four, and then next four, and sure. I get the net last four in trade form, and we'll read that too. Cool. That sounds like a plan. All right. Good. Get that Keanu Reeves. Are you, did you go see John Wick four already, or five already or not yet? No, I have not. Is it four? I wanted to. It's four. It's four. I so how many are there? Weekend. There's going to be five. <laughs> Maybe. No, they said they're going to be five. They want to take a break, though, and that Lionsgate doesn't want to take a break, so we'll see. Uh, I don't know. I probably will go see uh, John Wick next weekend. Cool. Right. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. I want to. I want to see it so bad. <clears throat> All right, dude. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, th- thanks everyone for listening to our little comic musings and ramblings. Um, yeah, thank you guys. You can find us on all the podcast platforms, like you probably have already, like you are right now. So you know. Also, like YouTube is do. YouTube is very popular for some reason. So, um, do you record this on in video too? Yeah, I record this in video and then I post it on yeah. YouTube. So, well, all, Spotify also does a video thing now. So if you go to really? Spot, the Spotify app and you click on our podcast, it'll or you, yeah, it'll show up as a video now. No, oh, that's cool. interesting. Yeah. Anywho, uh, we can stop fucking this pony, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't you let that die? I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, milkmanreverend at gmail.com if you want to email us. We never get emails, but hey, if you want to send us one, you know where to find us. Yeah. Uh, until... We have a Twitter up there, too. Oh, we do. Twitter at Twitter's. Who goes to Twitter? Yeah. Do you Twitter? You Twitter all the time. You Twitter like cocks and naked liking cocks and all kinds of cocks. Cock, cock. Why not? Twitter's gonna die someday soon, so why not flood it with cock? Uh, yeah, that's what Elon needs. Just a lot of cock. In his wow. Life. It's probably because he has one that's a micro penis. So micro you know, penis. Micro. All right, ladies and gents. Uh, I'm Milkman. I'm Reverend. And uh, we will see you uh, next time. Not two months away. Hopefully not. I hope not.